Hey, I'm David and welcome back to the Agile Broadcast. Today we're going to look at what's wrong with acceptance criteria. So what have I got against acceptance criteria? These are great to be able to determine whether a user story is finished or not. Without them, you wouldn't have any way to tell whether you've completed the task. You wouldn't have any way to validate that what you've done is actually correct. You would have no input for the testing of that story. And the team gets a sense of shared understanding about what the, this user story is really about. So lots of teams end up with a definition of ready. That includes something like, well, if there's no acceptance criteria, that user story is just not ready. We're not going to pick it up and we're not going to work on it. There is, however, a big problem with this. Let me explain. So one of the common ways to represent a backlog is as a pyramid like this, where you have the large epics at the bottom, these are large, undefined, very big and unclear and vague. That's fine because they are at the bottom. And then as you progress up, things get more refined and smaller. And at the very top, you have very small items which are refined, small stories that you can work on in a couple of days and they are ready to go. Now that seems reasonable. There is a sense of priority going up like this. Of course, we don't want large unrefined work items at the top of that pyramid. And if there is an attempt to change the priorities by saying this thing, which is very vague, undefined and without acceptance criteria up the priority list, there will be a natural pushback from the development team by saying quite reasonably, well, this story is not ready. They might say something like, well, we don't understand this work yet. We can't possibly start working on it. But what if this piece of work is actually really important? Is the maybe something very innovative or very novel? And if it's so innovative, well, no wonder it's not ready. No wonder it's vague. No wonder it has no acceptance criteria. Almost by definition, something that's new and novel and innovative is going to be unclear. And it certainly will be without acceptance criteria. So the question is, should we really be pushing back on those? So if you think about it, if something is low priority, then it's okay for something to be, well, let's say vague. But here's the key. It doesn't work the other way around. If something is vague, does not mean it has to be low priority. And by pushing back on those items, they become essentially deprioritized. Is that really what we want? If this is something really important and innovative. If these are low priority, they are of course not going to be worked on for some time. But crucially, they are not going to magically become better understood over time, if you do, especially if you don't work on them. This is something I see a lot happening in agile projects. The things that are innovative and novel, they get, they stay big and they get pushed down the bottom because they are not understood. And then you end up with some mediocre product that doesn't really do anything fancy or anything innovative. So how about we do the exact opposite? If something is vague but important, don't push back on it. Work on it now. And I guess this means you have to change your definition of ready. You know, ready for what? Ready for being delivered fully or ready for being investigated? That's not the same thing. And when I say work on those things, I don't mean delivering the full thing. I don't mean implementing the full solution. You can't, because you don't know enough about it yet. You do some mock-ups, you do some uh, interviews with your users, you do some prototyping, you do some experimentation. You try to find out what it is that's required to be actually done. You do whatever it takes to find out what you don't know about this piece of work. And the earlier, the better. That's how you de-risk your project. It might be more analysis work. Some coding might be involved to create some kind of prototype or to just have a go at something. Because often users, they only know what they want once they see something. That's why Agile is so powerful. You want to use that feedback mechanism to de-risk your project as early as you can and avoid nasty surprises. So next time you come across a piece of work that has no acceptance criteria, think about this. Should I really be pushing back on this? Or is this actually meant to be more of an investigation task that I should be doing now? So now I'm wondering, what do you think about this? Have you come across this problem before? Or how do you solve this problem? Please let me know in the comments below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.